going on everyone? Dinky Dana here. Heading out to the thrift stores and possibly the flea market. I woke up a bit late today, so I'm not really sure if I'll find any deals there. I may just try and hit that tomorrow. But uh, yeah, I'm excited to go back out. I haven't been going out and checking for games in quite a while. I don't know. Hopefully I'll find something at the thrift stores today and then hopefully the flea market tomorrow. So I'm going to capture this footage, hopefully find some game deals and show you guys what I get. All right, so let's see what they got up here in the front window. Nothing too great. Yeah, not a ton in there, and even if there was, that guy probably would have snagged them up before me, but picked up Age of Empires 3 and product number 3 uh, for 5 so not a bad deal, but uh, this product number three, it's kind of tough to tell whether this is rare at all. But uh, I had never seen it, so I figured I'd pick it up, see what it's all about. All right, now this next place I'm going into, I used to go to this place a long time ago, and I, you know, it's just a one guy owns it, and he has a lot of retro games, stuff like that, does his own pricing. He goes a lot by eBay, but I've gotten some good deals off the guy on old Nintendo games. So I'm going to stop in here, see if I can find something good. I probably can't really record footage because it's usually just the one guy in here, so he comes up and I talk to him and stuff. But, uh, yeah, hopefully we get some Nintendo games. Yeah, I didn't find too much in there. The guy I know wasn't actually working in there. They must have hired some people. But uh, I picked up Advent Rising 2 Human, which I heard is horrible, but I still want to try it out anyways. And then uh, Overlord Minions. So all three of these games for 10 bucks. so that's not bad. Nothing too incredible. They got rid of a lot of their box, like consoles and Nintendo games and stuff. The guy that works in there said they just started putting them on eBay instead, so it kind of sucks for us. But, uh, oh well, not too bad. Ten bucks, got some games. Got up bright and early. I'm heading out to the flea market and, uh, gonna try and find some game deals. So, I haven't been to a flea market in probably about a year. So we'll see what I can find, hopefully pick up some good games. I'll start recording some footage once I get there. All right, just got out to the flea market. I haven't been down here in about a year and a half. And this place, this parking lot up here, is usually completely empty when I used to come. Now it is totally packed. There's so many, so many people up here. So we're going to walk on through, see if we can find any games, and hopefully pick up some deals. Sell these individually? No. no. It's all together. I'm sorry. Hmm. That's that? a 64 bootleg cartridge. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it has 64 games on it. Not splitting them up at all, huh? No. All right. See, he's probably going to want to sell the whole console together, though. You too, thank you. You know, they average around 70 to 75 on them. Why don't you look for the old Odyssey? Like, I'm really interested in the games. What's that? What are you going to give me for games? Um, I don't know, probably just like two bucks a piece. How many is there? 
seven? Would you be able to do ten bucks for seven? I'll tell you what, give me twenty for everything. Uh, for the game and the uh, controllers and the... I already have the whole console and everything, so I don't uh, I don't really need that. You able to do ten for just the games? Why? Because that's the key to getting for me to sell that. You know I mean, I got twenty into it all. Yeah. Yeah, definitely don't need the console. That's yeah. that's too big to have sitting around a double. Can't do just the games? No. All right. Okay. Thank you. Yep, thank you. Oh, look at this thing. <laughs> Wonder what that was from. Does that tell it on this side? It does it? Yeah. Oh, dude, that's cool. Come on, dude. What's that? Really? Huh? You just did that? <laughs> Killing me. Is this that same guy? I don't know. That's probably whoever this is. Yeah, so I was talking to that dude about the Magnavox Odyssey. He wouldn't sell just the games. So I wasn't really gonna buy it. And then uh, I saw something else that he had, so I worked out a deal. And I picked up an original Nintendo box. It's like a chest. It's got the Zelda, Zelda stuff, all the Mario games. So I just had to pick that up. I mean, that's freaking awesome. So to show you all the games that I got this weekend, uh, pretty pretty good deals. I got uh, some Magnavox Odyssey 2 games. And, uh, I mean, that's a pretty good deal. They're all in their boxes and everything in pretty good shape. So I was pretty happy to get those. Also got these from the thrift store and that video game shop. And then there are the couple unique items. The one in the video I showed that the person would not split up their Nintendo set. And I saw this cartridge there, and I honestly don't know anything about it. Um... I managed her to get her to split this out, so I was able to pick it up, but it has 64 different games on there, but I mean, I'm sure it's just a random, like, hacked cartridge, so I'm sure it's not really worth any money, but it was still pretty cool anyways, and then I also picked up this board game called Ket, and my, bro my friend's been telling me about this game for a long time, basically you set up these mirrors, and uh, you can see like these red ones, you set up the mirrors across the board, and then you press a button and it'll shoot a laser, and what you want to do is have the laser hit all the mirrors and dodge the other opponent's mirrors and get to the final final space. And if you can get the mirror to direct the laser through the path, then you'd win. So it seemed pretty cool. He's been talking about it forever, so I picked that up for 6 bucks. And the big thing is this Nintendo chest that I got, which, I mean, this is really cool. I looked a little bit up about it. It came out in 1988, and uh, it came out... Along with the, back in the day when they were selling uh, Mario bed sheets and stuff like that, that's when this is from. And it's got the Mario, it's got art from each of the Zelda games. So I'll probably do a little bit of a review of this with better, better footage of it and lighting and all that. But it was pretty cool, it's a little bit beat up. But I just had to pick that up, especially since I got it from the... The guy with the Odyssey, and he would not drop on that price. So I was talking with him and ended up getting a good deal on both of these. And then inside, he has the console and a couple loose games and the controllers and all that. So overall, a uh, a pretty good weekend at the flea market and thrift store. So I'm pretty happy with it. I'll have to start hitting the flea markets up a little bit more uh, this summer. But anyways, I'm Dinky Dana, and thanks for watching.